For everyone who thinks they have a cool flight simulator setup, check out this one. It's a cloud flyer with a Rhino X55 SciTech uh, joystick and the rudder pedals. I have a projector set up to fly uh, to uh, project the screen out in front. Now this cockpit uh, was built uh, using the plans that I offer on my website. So if you want to build one, you can get the plans. It uses no power. There's no hydraulics. There's no pneumatics. There's no electric servos. Just gravity. And the cockpit goes exactly where you point it. Pull back on the stick and climbs. Very smooth. No herky-jerky motion like you get with the powered simulators. I'm uh, buzzing around here in an F-18 now, just having a little fun. But you can see how the cockpit moves, and a little bit of movement really does add a lot to it. So I'm going to show you how the projector uh, adds a, a new element to it. It's out in front, and you can have it set for the, uh, for the, the scenery, uh, the chase view, or whatever you want. And if you watch closely, you'll notice that uh, this uh, cloud flyer introduces something new, lead. A real airplane doesn't even go exactly where you point it, but follows a split second behind, which is automatically introduced by this. Accelerating down the runway, flying a, an L-39. This is a sweet little simulator program. It's very close to the real plane. The motor's very slow, spooling up, so it takes it forever to get going. And at about 120 miles an hour, it just plain stops flying. Okay, up we go. Pull up the landing gear. These jo new joysticks have got so many buttons on them. You can control every function, the flaps, the air brakes, uh, the radios, just anything you want. It's all right in there. Now, one of the things I like about this L39 simulator is that the <laughs> The pilots move around, look at you, and swear they were alive. Now, if you want to build your own uh, cloud flyer, you can go to my to my website, and I'll I'll sell you the plans. Or you can buy a completed unit, which is really nice. Uh, I, I'm not flying; I'm flying one of my old prototypes. But you no, know, doing a little barrel roll here. But it does make your simulation of flying a whole lot more, fun. and makes you a better pilot. It's like a real plane. I'm just going to buzz around back and land. Now I've got it set so when I change screens, it changes on the uh, projector. And uh, I just keep the dash plane dashboard on my uh, LCD. But coming back for landing. Got the speed brakes. Got down, down speed now. I'll lower the flaps. Drop the landing here. And in for a nice gentle touchdown. Because this plane uh, stops flying so so abruptly, I always like to do a steep approach and come in uh, a little higher speed, lots of energy. I was waiting to do this again. And there we are, back on the ground, another successful flight. I'm just taxi over to the hangar and. Put her away.